hey loves and welcome back to my channel it's ijoma here and in today's video we're going to learn how to make this beautiful dress with a bow now this particular bow that i used here is not too wide and this bow is not actually for this dress but i had to use this dress for the sake of this tutorial we are going to learn how to cut and make the dress and we are going to, going to learn how to cut and fix the bow so this is the back part i've not added my eyelet but this is what the back looks like now at initially i wanted to use green for that bow but i later changed my mind i used red for it at the end of the day and i think i love the red more now what you are going to do now is to draft i want to do my cutting on my paper so that we can understand better because sometimes if you're marking on a fabric some people may not follow us along now i'm going to do my marking on my paper then i will go ahead and cut out on the main fabric First of all, I'll cut out my skirt. I'll take out 16 inches for the person's half length. The person I'm making this dress for, her half length is 16 inches. Then her shoulder to hip is 26. Her shoulder to full length is 41. And I marked 41. Now I'm going to draw straight lines and I will label the lines. I have my hip line. I have my full length. And I also have my waistline. This place that I took out the half length from is the waistline. The next thing that I'm going to do now is to mark our hip. Her hip is 43 divided by 4. That is 10.75 plus. I, you don't, since I'm cutting on a fabric, I will not add any sewing allowance on this fabric. I will add it to my, to this paper. Sorry, I will not add any sewing allowance to my paper. I'll add it to the fabric. I hope you understand. Then at the full length, you will take out 8 inches from the hip and divide by 4. Now, at the waist i'll go ahead and take her waist measurement normally her waist is 36 but i brought it down to 33 because i want to snatch it so instead of making her waist 36 divided by 4 i made it 33 divided by 4 and i marked whatever i got there like i said i did not add any seam allowance on this paper i will add it on my fabric now i'll go ahead and connect and after connecting i will use this paper to cut out my back skirt also this is the skirt part of this gown after cutting out this one i will also cut out the back part of the gown now i'll go ahead and cut out this paper after cutting out the paper if you want you can add interface to your fabric before cutting if you want you can cut before adding interface interface is what we call gum most of us call it gum you go ahead and do whatever you want then using that front skirt i'll cut out the back now this is for my off shoulder my off shoulder bust here i'll go ahead and take out five inches from the shoulder and from that five inches i'll mark my bust points the bust point that i'm using is 11 inches you can see that i placed five inches at the top of that paper and that top of that paper will serve as the neckline for this off shoulder bust here then from there i'll mark my bust points i'll mark my under boss i'll mark my half length and then extra two inches for allowance that is what i normally do my bust point is 11 my under bust is 14 inches half length 16 and extra two for allowance now after doing that my nipple to nipple is eight i'll go ahead and divide that eight into two and that will be four and i'm adding half inch i'm adding my allowance to the paper then at the under bust i marked four instead of four and half at the half length i'll also mark four so from the under bust i'll bring down that four four inches down to the allowance then i will connect from the four inches at the under bust to the four and half at the bust point and i will connect to my neckline the next thing that i'm going to do is to take out two inches at the under bust and at the half length i'll mark that two inches straight after marking it straight, I'll go ahead and connect it to my boss point. I'll connect it to my boss point. Then at the upper boss, over boss, I'll do my over boss tightening. From the center line, like from the dart line, I'll go ahead and take out two inches inwards. Like from here, I'll go in by two inches and then I will connect. This is for our upper boss tightening. Then after doing that, you can go ahead and mark your neckline 
or you can cut this out before marking your neckline though i like marking my neckline before cutting it out sometimes so my neckline will be a sweetheart neckline i'll go ahead and give it a sweetheart neckline the next thing that i'm going to do is to cut out my center the center of my fabric i'll cut out my neckline I'll go ahead and cut out my under bust and my upper bust tightening. You can see I took out some areas at the upper bust and at the under bust. So I'll go ahead and cut out the under bust tightening. After cutting out the under bust tightening, I will cut off the upper bust tightening as well. So remember where our allowance stopped at on this paper. The next thing that I'm going to do after this is to place, after cutting out the upper bust and under bust tightening, I'll place my center piece so that it will overlap the curved part of their bracket, like the curved part of that bust here. Then you can see the way I placed it so that it will close the under bust tightening, under bust that. I'll take my bust measurement divided by four and my waist measurement divided by four. That is how I cut my off shoulder bust set is really easy for me after cutting the center use it to overlap the bust area of the of the pattern and then you go ahead and connect so after doing that you will slant this to enter your armhole line armhole line is usually two inches above your bust point so you can see the place where my armhole ended is almost two or three inches above my bust point and that is it then after cutting out this front i will use it to cut out the back and you know the for the back of this dress the back has lacing the back has a lacing so i will not be adding any zipper allowance to this it is a bustier with a lacing i will not be adding any zipper allowance i will just place it you can see the way i placed it so that the front and the back will be equal then i'll go ahead and cut out the side as i'm cutting you can see that i also overlapped that my breast cut my breast cut i closed it then you will indicate your chest line or your armhole line the front and the back will be equal at the armhole line and then the neckline of the back will be straight you can see the way i marked the neckline of the back this is the neckline of the back i marked it straight then this is the back right now I told you guys that we'd not add zipper allowance. Instead of adding zipper allowance, so we we'll even go ahead and take out two. We will take out another two inches from the center back so that the back will be open. Just like the way we make our corsets. Instead of adding zip allowance, you will even take out two from the main measurements of the back. Then you cut out. Now, this is what you have at the back. The back is open this is the waist area and the other part is the neckline area i hope you understand so i'll go ahead and arrange them so that you guys can see what they look like the next thing that we are going to do now is to cut out all this paper on our fabric after cutting out on the fabric we will cut out on our lining so now you can see i'm i'm done cutting out the front of my fabric and I added two two inches seam allowance at the side. I want to have enough allowance. I added two two seam allowance, and this is our skirt. This is our skirt. The next thing that I am going to do is that I will use this front to cut out the back, and this is the back of the skirt. I added two inches for zipper allowance the top does not have any zipper allowance but the skirt has a zipper allowance i hope you understand so that i will not get confused you will add zipper allowance to the skirt but you will not add any zipper allowance to the top now this is me cutting out my center my center piece for the ankara i cut out the side piece you can see my breast cuts you also go ahead and add a pad or wording if you want to pad your own i later padded my own then after doing that i'll go ahead and cut out my back also so i'm trying to like open up these pieces so that we all can see what they look like i'll just open up the pieces you can see what the front looks like i'll keep it aside Though I added half an inch seam allowance at the center, but later I reduced it because I, I forgot that I added my allowance on my paper while cutting. Now, this is for the back. If I open up this back, you can see that it has a space in between. 
now it is time to cut out my lining this is the lining for my skirt i'll cut out the lining for my skirt after cutting the lining for my skirt i'll cut out the lining for my top also living life every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, hear, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind maybe elevate living life every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days yeah all i need are some better days cause all i want and i pray i believe in the better yeah. days i'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place do i work hard or live at my pace you're only young once yeah that's all great but i also want a future where i'm okay living life is doing lots of cocaine wait no it's living with no shame wait no it's sleeping in on sundays i guess it's different for each of us and that's okay well i just want to be happy how to get there hmm glad that you asked me i think it's different for everyone some of us need work others need fun some of us need purpose to overcome but try to do what you love when it's said and done because there's so many differences in each of us trust your gut it can show you what you want living life every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days now i am done cutting my lining this is my dolphin i told you guys that i will use red dolphins this is what i will use for my bow tie so for this particular dolphins what you are going to do is that you measure your round like your round shoulder round shoulder and then add like extra 15 inches to it so not really making this for anybody i made it 41 then for the width i made the width 17 on fold the wideness is 17 on fold and the length is 41 then i'll go ahead and cut out i am not really making this for anybody but had it been a making it for somebody i will make it to be way longer so that if, after making your bow tie you can raise your hand freely so if the person you are sewing for her round shoulder is 44 you go ahead and add extra 15 inches that's 44 inches that you have already now after cutting my doll face i'm using crinoline net when i'm working with doll face if you have noticed i don't like adding hard gum to it crinoline net is just the best this thing that i'm holding right now is called a crinoline net so i will also fold it the way i folded my doll face and i'll cut out crinoline net is just the best even if you wash it for years it will still have the same shape but if you wash your hard gum the shape may change i hope you understand what i'm saying your hard gum may get weak after washing and washing and washing but for this particular one it stays the same now i am going to fold after folding i'll place my doll face and cut out then i'm done cutting i've opened the crinoline net and i've opened the doll face also i'll just go ahead and run a stitch round so now i run a stitch round my doll face in order to hold the crinoline down to it you can see there's no point ironing like if you're using hard gum you know you iron your hard gum to your doll face but this time around i just run a stitch to hold down my doll face and my crinoline net then i'll go ahead and cut out So after doing this, I will fold and then I will close just two sides, just the top, just one side of this doll face. I'll just fold the top and you can see it is giving us the form that we want for this bow tie already. Now I am done turning one side. I'll go ahead and turn it out. After turning out, you will iron very, very well. This ironing part is really important and that is the reason why I don't like adding hard gum to mine. 
to my details because had it been i added hard gum to this it to give me wrong pose if you have been sewing for a long time you will notice that if you add hard gum to your plain fabric most times you'll be having bumps or wrong pose but with this crinoline nets you will not experience that then after turning and ironing you will gather the center and this is the piece of fabric that we use to tie the center i turned that piece of fabric so you hold the center like this this is the way I held the center and I'll go ahead and turn. Then before you turn that, make sure you use your needle and thread to hold this bow tie down. You can see the way I gathered it. After gathering it at the center, use your needle and thread to hold it down very, very well before you cover that area with your piece of fabric. This is really important. This particular step is really, really important just tack it down with your needle and thread after tacking it down you will now cover with the fabric now i am working with crinoline nets and to be honest this part may be difficult because at this point it was already feeling so thick but i had to like continue now i am done the next thing i'm going to do is that i'll use that piece of fabric that i have to wrap around there I'll wrap it around there and I'll go ahead and stitch. I'll go to my sewing machine and I'll stitch it down tightly. I'll make sure that I, I join the two pieces tightly. Now I am done trimming. I'm done joining and I have trimmed off the rough part. So now this is what I have. Our bow tie is taking shape already. But like I said, if you're making this for someone, you will make sure that your bow tie is really, really long. So that when you fix it on your fabric or on your dress, you will be able to raise your hand. Like I said, your shoulder, your round shoulder plus extra 15, plus extra 15 inches so that you have space. Right now, I am done with my bow tie. I am done joining my bust here. I just want to complete the dress before you guys and then go ahead and join now this is our bust here i have turned i have joined the lining i'll turn the neckline these are my skirt pieces this one in particular is for my back i'll go ahead and close the zipper allowance this is really necessary i'll go ahead and close the zipper allowance i'll use my chalk to mark out my zipper allowance after marking out my zipper allowance i will iron it very well then i will place it and the front together and shape you will shape your skirt separately and then you will shape your bustier separately so this is the back part of our bustier this is the back i have turned everything i'll go ahead and join the back to the front you can see that the back does not have any zipper allowance instead it is smaller than the front so now i will pin the front and the back together you can see my back it is looking open at the back already i'll pin the front and the back together then i'll go ahead and take my bust measurements and my waist measurements ignore the open part of that back it is not necessary at this point we are going to lace it so after taking your waist well bust measurement you will take your waist measurements then you will join after doing that this is our back i will join my front and my back of the skirt after placing the two of them together i will take my body measurements and i'll also shape after shaping all these parts i'll iron properly that ironing part is really necessary so it's very necessary iron very very well so that you have the shape you want I'll connect my waist to my hip and hip to knee. Then I'll go ahead and shape. Now I am done shaping the top. This is the bustier part. I am done shaping that. And this is the skirt part. So now I'll go ahead and join the front and the, the top and the down. I'll join the top and the down. But before we do that, I want to insert bones at the back of this bust here for lacing so i'll just go ahead and run my channels i just use i just run a stitch on it for my channels then i'll go ahead and insert at least two two bones to each side of the bust here the reason why i'm doing this is because of our lacing so that when you lace it it will be firm at the back i like adding my bones before running my 
before adding my eyelids so you can see i'm adding two two bones to each side of the back i will have to make my eyelet in between my eyelet will be in between the two bones that i am inserting so after doing this make sure you iron that bone it is very important make sure you iron your bone so that your bone will be straight now after ironing i will join my skirt and my top so now if you are joining your skirt and your top you will realize that the skirt is wider than the top posture the reason is because the skirt has a zipper allowance but the top does not have a zipper allowance that means the top may not reach the zipper allowance of the skirt so wherever the top stops at the back just leave it there you can see i'm done joining and i have an opening at my center back you can see my zipper allowance for the skirt i will overlock it before adding my zipper I will turn it before adding my zipper. You can see the other side. The other side has a gap, like 2 inches gap away from the zipper. So now, it is time to attach our bow tie. This is our bow tie. So that rough part where you closed with your piece of fabric, you place it to your gown. You can see the shape it's giving us. It is looking really fine already. So I will just place it and then... I'll go ahead and stitch. I like doing hand stitching this time. Like I like tacking with my hand. After doing this, I will do my hand stitching and then I'll flip it to the back. I'll flip it to the back and it should stop before those bones you added to the back. You will gather it like this and then you will sew. You will flip and then you will sew. Just gather first of all then you flip and you so this part may be hard because of the quinoa lines but at the end of the day it is worth it so i'll mark a straight line where i want that back to end that this is where i want it to stop but i'll go ahead and mark a straight line there now at the end of the day after stitching this is what i have but had it been my bow tie is longer you know it will give me space but this is the process you can see that i trimmed the armhole of this dress if you're making your own do not trim the armhole you don't need to trim your armhole but i had to trim my armhole because this dress is for someone my client but i had to use it to illustrate this style but if you're making it for yourself you don't need to trim your armhole at the end of the day this is what we have guys it is really beautiful so registration for our october online classes is on going if you want to register just drop a comment in the comment section and i will direct you on how to register we have lots of online courses corsets blazer trouser kiddies joggers hoodie so many things do not forget to subscribe and like my video bye